Hello, my name is Aaron Mack. I'm a paramedic with Johnson County Emergency Services EMS Division, and today we're going to take a walk through the ambulance. Let me uh, let you in here real quick. EMS Division works in four shifts of 24 hours. Uh, we work 24 on, 72 off, and this is our office. Every day we come in, we check off the truck, make sure our medical equipment is in working order that we have bare minimum car levels in order to serve the people in Johnson County. And uh, we clean the ambulance from top to bottom to make sure that it is uh, disinfected for every one of our patients. We do that in between every single call, before our shift and after our shift. And we check off all of our medical equipment. If you want to step inside, I'll show you what we do. So here we are in the what we call the box area or the uh, patient care compartment of the ambulance. And as you can see, there is very limited space. So we try to have everything in proper places. Our ambulances are all set up very similarly. So that way, if you are working on a different unit than you're normally assigned to, you can still find all of your medical equipment. When we come in in the morning, we check all of this off. Every single one of these cabinets is open, the stuff is pulled out, we go through car levels, we make sure that we have the equipment necessary to run any call we could possibly run into. And Johnson County is a decently sized county. We ran just under 28,000 calls last year uh, in a pretty decently wide square mileage area. Uh, Johnson County has urban, the rural areas that we all respond to. Uh, so we have to carry a multitude of different pieces of equipment on the ambulance in order to service all of those calls. Uh, so let's look at some of the bags and uh, the equipment that we use pretty much every day on, on an ambulance. So this is our stretcher and everything in the cabinets that I talked about earlier is duplicated uh, on the stretcher so that way we can take this to our patient in order to render care quickly and then return to the ambulance when necessary for more equipment or more advanced equipment or specialty equipment. Uh, so we're just gonna talk about these three bags and this monitor here today uh, because the rest of it's kind of redundant. So uh, first off, our monitor here uh, is a Zol X series. Um, pretty advanced monitor, allows us to take vital signs like a blood pressure or heart rate as well as read oxygen levels in the saturation of your blood, as well as uh, do more advanced techniques, like take a um, 12 lead or look at a picture of your heart, uh, as well as defibrillate someone who's in cardiac arrest. So a very important piece of equipment that we check off every single day. Um, the next bag we have here is our what we call our go bag. We recently implemented this due to restrictions from the recent viral act outbreak. And this has some pretty quick vital taking equipment as well, including a thermometer, a glucometer, a uh, fast med bag that uh, may be used to stabilize a patient pretty quickly or give a first line medication. Um, and then in the back part here, we have supplies to start IVs to deal with uh, hypoglycemia or low blood sugar, as well as some trauma supplies and some more vital taking information. The next bag we have is this green one, which is our airway bag. This is going to hold our oxygen as well as what we call airway adjuncts, which help stabilize airways so that way we can help people who have breathing problems, uh, including nebulizer kits, nasal cannulas, little prongs that go up in your nose, uh, full masks, as well as uh, more advanced techniques like uh, superglottic airways, which are for cardiac arrest, go all the way down to the throat, or CPAP, which is continuous pressure oxygen that goes across your face in a mask. And all of those are here in this bag. Also gets checked off every time. Our Blackhawk bag, or our primary bag, has a lot of pockets uh, that we have to check off. But you'll notice some redundancy from our go bag, some trauma supplies, some more vital taking stuff, uh, tourniquets for major bleeding. And then in the bottom here, we have our intubation kit, which is gonna go along with our airway bag in order to place tubes in patients that require secured airways, as well as our pack of medications, 
which we have quite a few of, as you can see. And these are designed to handle a multitude of medical emergencies. And our IV kit to establish IVs on scene. Like I said, every day we check this off and make sure we can run calls in this county and effectively help the citizens. In the EMS division, we respond to a multitude of calls that are triaged with emergency medical dispatch. They call 911, they triage what you tell them, where you are, how to respond, and who needs to respond to those calls. Based on this information, EMS could respond with lights and sirens above the posted speed limit, or could respond in a routine manner following all normal traffic safety. In the EMS division, we do have requirements that allow us to respond in an advanced or faster speed. However, that does not mean that we can break traffic laws whenever we feel like it. However, if you see someone driving around with lights and sirens on, try to move over and allow that uh, emergency vehicle to pass you and respond to those calls if you don't know what's going on. But we also have a CAD system uh, through this computer, which allows us to see where our call is, gives us information on that, on the call type, what kind of triage has been done, and just some generalized information so we can pre-plan our call prior to our arrival. Uh, well, thank you for joining me today. Uh, if EMS sounds like an interesting career to you, just know that we're very fast-paced. We're on the cutting edge of medical technology. If you're a younger student between the ages of 16 and 18, you find this interesting, you want to know more, we do offer a cadet program uh, where you can come right along, learn what EMS is about. Uh, if you're older, 18, this looks like a career that you want to start into because it is a place where you can advance, move forward. Uh, contact your local community college and see if they offer a course. JCC offers several. Uh, from the EMT, AEMT, up to the paramedic level program. And uh, again, thank you for coming and hanging out with us.